The carnival season, it's officially here. We are just a little than a month away from Mardi Gras. And if today was any indication, we are in store for some great times to roll along the Gulf Coast. Getting us started, the crew de la Dauphine this afternoon. Every year, Dauphin Island plays host to the first parade of the season. With big celebration comes even bigger business for the region. And Local 15's Jasmine Williams is live for us tonight at RV City downtown. Jasmine, business owners are in town are anxious for the revelers to invade the area. They are, Derek, and they've already started packing RV City. I'm actually standing in one of the few spots they have left. Now, as the good times continue to roll into the port city, businesses are seeing a boost from parade goers. From restaurants to costume shops. First fees of the season. A day of revelry means revenue for businesses along the Gulf Coast. Mobile and Mardi Gras go hand in hand during this time of year. A good part of their annual revenue. So it's, it's very good for the economy. As the first floats paraded on Dauphin Island this afternoon, shoppers rolled into Toomey's to get their hands on some throws. I think it puts a lot of people to work and uh, a lot of tax dollars flow in and out of the city during the carnival. Downtown Mobile, the season spending continued. Hero Sports Bar and Grill was packed with this weekend's parade goer. People come in and out like all day long, all night long. Like we stay open really late for people. Um, it's a lot of fun though. A sure sign of the carnival season's kickoff and a reminder that there's more to Mardi Gras Mobile than mask and moon pies. And this is just the beginning as our carnival coverage begins. Expect to see more parades, more moon pies, and a whole lot of beads. Live from RV City, Jasmine Williams, Local 15 News. Jasmine